Hello and welcome to another TCC Lunch and Learn. These are part of our core contribute series in which we are doing our best to give back and say thank you to all the wonderful partners who have made our lives so rich over the last six years. I'm Isaac Wells and I work with the Core Collaborative and this is part of a brief series called Moments of Mindfulness. Today we're going to uh, think through a meditation on uh, reflecting like still water. So these uh, meditations are based on the teachings of Thich Nhat Hanh uh, and come from the book Touching Peace, uh, one of my favorite books and has been an important part of my life for about 20 years. Uh, he is a religious leader, but these meditations are not religious in themselves. They're simply meant uh, for us to develop an awareness of ourselves and an awareness of the world around us uh, and to find ways to better cope uh, with where we find ourselves in the world right now. We began with the idea of awareness of the breath that can help us to bring ourselves out of our mind and back into our bodies, which is a very centering feeling uh, and can help us just to be aware of how we're feeling. For each of these, we have a longer phrase and then we have an abbreviation just in, out. Next, we looked at this one, uh, envisioning ourselves as a flower so that we can have this sense of freshness uh, and how perfect that it's spring, at least here in North Carolina, uh, and things are blooming. And again, we abbreviate this just to think flower as we breathe in and fresh as we breathe out. Uh, and in a previous section, I shared that I usually find myself smiling uh, when I breathe out and think that freshness. Uh, next, uh, was to have the, uh, the foundation and to feel as solid as a mountain, especially uh, in times of turmoil uh, and in times of great emotional change. It can be very helpful for us to realize that all mental states are temporary, no matter what, and all things that happen in the world are temporary. Even when they may last a day, a week, a year, or longer, uh, we are like that mountain outlasting the storm. And so it can be very helpful for us to sit solidly in a chair or on the floor or whatever is comfortable and to think of ourselves as a mountain and solid and outlasting our circumstance. And then finally today, I really want to reflect on water. Uh, we know water is, has intrigued us for thousands of years. It has the ability to very clearly on earth be solid, liquid, uh, or gas. We figured that out a long time ago. <laughs> Uh, but also it's captured the imagination of artists. I mean, you look at this beautiful photograph and see the way the light is reflected and you see the background being reflected. Uh, but in this instance, it's very much distorted. Uh, it's almost like if you've ever been uh, walking somewhere in the dark and you get that feeling you sense something because you see a shadow or maybe even you're driving at night and our minds take those little bits of shapes and turn them quickly into a person or an abstract creature or something that we're nervous we're going to run into or we're afraid we'll jump out. And even though cognitively we're completely aware that there's you know, no wolf in the closet, so in that moment, our vision of reality is distorted. Now this often happens in other ways, in other situations. Uh, I know for many of us, when we're in social situations, we are taking in what people are showing us and telling us uh, through our own prejudice or through our own emotion at the time. Uh, and so sometimes we hear honest feedback as biting criticism, or maybe we hear a genuine compliment as kind of a backhanded compliment. Uh, and it doesn't mean that there aren't times that those are real, but often we perceive them when they're not. I remember being uh, in probably seventh or eighth grade and <laughs> just having this sense that everyone is watching you and judging you all the time. And of course, nothing else changed in the world, the way people look at you as you walk through the grocery store, or you walk onto the field or whatever you're doing. But my sense of self was changing as I was going through uh, 
that adolescence. And I think a lot of that can stick with us sometimes. So it's important for us to reflect on what it means to be still water. So you see in this image how beautifully reflected the mountains and the trees and everything uh, is. Yes, it's slightly different than the actual photograph above, uh, but, but beautifully matched. And so our goal here is to take a moment and breathe and really just think about, am I seeing this as it actually is? Am I experiencing what's really happening? And now we have so many people who are dealing with uh, tragedy uh, and stress and new situations and so many things piling on and each of those impacts the way we see every other thing that can happen and one thing that can happen is we can be building up these feelings we're not aware of and then we become unable to receive the truth of the situation because whatever someone's saying or doing it's being filtered through this fear we have or filtered through uh, this kind of frantic need to do more and be better. And so I would like to share uh, these words from Thich Nhat Hanh. Uh, breathing in, I see myself as still water. Breathing out, I reflect things as they are. Especially if you find yourself feeling under attack or feeling that you're now judging what someone's saying, uh, you know, or any of these social situations, whether you're face-to-face, -face, online, anything, it's powerful to take a moment before we respond and think, what did we actually hear? What did we actually see? What do we actually know? And how accurately am I reflecting this reality uh, in my own mind? And again, this one can be abbreviated to water, I'm thinking as I breathe in and as I breathe out, reflecting. And so the goal again is to try to get to the essence of that truth, to see, okay, all of these things have happened. We're having tragedy with our weather right now. So many people we love and care for are sick or out of work uh, or lonely or all these things, but those are each separate things. So when we take a moment and address them, we can give our, uh, attention and our time and we can experience those emotions but then we don't let all those emotions influence the next uh, moment we have with a person. I hope that this is helpful for you. Please share thoughts and feedback on uh, your own reflections with us. Uh, we recommend you visit the Core Contributes to get access to our reflection journal. Uh, that will not only allow you to track your own learning and thinking especially through this crisis but enables you to earn CTLE credits uh, or even college credit. Uh, and again, thank you so much for sharing your two most valuable assets, your time and your attention. And as always, we hope you will be actively engaged in the TCC network. Reach out and share the great things you're doing. Visit us to see what our partners are sharing. Uh, and until next time, uh, be good to yourself and be good to each other.